babies! So today I'm going to show you how I do this entire face makeup only using this device right here and this is the Color Me Automatic Foundation Applicator. It looks like this and this one is the Pro Edition in rose gold. What this does is apply your liquid or powder foundation but also contour powder, blush, highlighter, yeah basically your entire face makeup. So instead of all the brushes and sponges you would normally use for your face makeup you only need this one device which I think it's really cool and innovative. What's special about this applicator is that it has sonic tapping. It taps 250 times per second, which is a lot. I mean, I think I can only tap like three times per second. And we already know that we're supposed to tap the foundation on, not swipe it on or swirl it around, because if you tap on the foundation, it will set in that place and not move around, and that will give you the best coverage and the longest wear. So if this device taps 250 times per second, it will really give you a full coverage and a flawless result that will last all day. I've tried it out a few times already, as you can probably see, since Color Me sent this to me about three weeks ago and I really love it and that's why I wanted to do a video on it and show you guys how it works because I think some of you will find this useful. So yeah, let's just get into the tutorial. I'm first taking the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. I remove the lid from the Color Me applicator and add one pump of foundation onto the sponge and then I cover the entire sponge in with that. When I push this button right here, I activate the sonic tapping, so then I can just go in and apply the foundation with sweeping motions. And at the same time as I'm moving this around, the device taps the foundation in. And I'm not pressing it in hard at all because it basically does the job for me. I feel like this definitely takes a lot less work than if you would manually push the foundation on with a brush or sponge. This narrow tip right here makes it easy to apply the foundation around the nose, the mouth, the hairline. Then I'm taking one more pump of foundation, which I'm using for my forehead. And I think it's really cool that I only need two pumps of foundation for my entire face, because normally with a brush or sponge, I would need four to five pumps, because they soak up a lot more of the product. So as you can see, it applies the foundation evenly and without looking cakey, which I love. And here you can see the result up close. It even looks good around my nose, where I usually look very dry and flaky, no matter what I do. Next, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I apply a little bit to the tip of the sponge and then I apply it underneath my eyes. I'm applying that in a triangular shape as always. Then I go in and apply that to the center of my forehead. I also add a little bit to my chin and cupid's bow. Here I'm replacing the sponge that I used for the liquids with this one that I'm going to use for powders. And as you can see, it's really easy to switch these. And the applicator comes with two of these sponges. With this loose powder foundation from MAC, I'm going to set my face and I simply pat the sponge directly into the pan and then I tap off the excess. I apply that in the exact same way as I did with the liquids. And for this step, you can of course use a translucent powder instead if you prefer that. I'm also dragging that down my neck to make sure it matches my face. With the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, I'm going to take this yellow and this pink shade right here. I'm picking those up with the applicator and tapping off the excess hair as well. I'm applying that to the areas that I want to brighten, so underneath my eyes, my forehead and around my mouth. And here you can see the up-close result after applying those powders. Then from the same palette, I'm taking this shade called Subconscious to contour. The shape of the sponge actually makes it very easy to contour with. So as you can see, I'm going underneath my cheekbone here, making quite a straight line, and then I blend that upwards. I am also going along my jawline and then blending that down. I am also contouring the sides of my forehead. 
I quickly found out that this applicator perfectly cleans up your contour as you can see here and I'm just using the two lightest shades from the contour palette. From the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Face Palette, I'm taking this blush right here called Rosé Spritz and I'm sweeping that from the apples on my cheeks and up towards my temples and as you can see it blends out beautifully. To highlight, I'm taking Champagne Pop from the palette and applying it above the blush. And then I get this beautiful glow that I want. I am also applying that to my cupid's bow and down my nose. It's important to clean the sponges, and I do that using a cotton pad with alcohol, but you can also use Color Me's own cleansing towelettes. So I went ahead and did my eyes and lips, and if you watched me do this look on my live stream on Instagram, then thank you so much for joining me, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, here you can see the final result, it really gives you that beautiful flawless finish, which is what I like about it the most, and it's also super easy to use, so I'm really happy that I got to try it out, and I will definitely continue using it. I really hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful, and that you learned something fun and new, and yeah, I will link to the Color Me website down in the description bar if you want to check it out. And the applicator is $68, which to be honest with you guys, I think it's definitely worth the price. I would gladly pay it to get a flawless result every time without using a lot of effort. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you glitter girls and glitter boys super duper much. Have an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!